Yes, Carol. Could you please ask the Trider to come in? Yes. Thank you, Carol. Ah, Alina, please. Please. Ah, uh, I would offer you a seat. But, I'm sorry. We don't have any chairs appropriately sized to accommodate a magnificently impressive trider such as yourself. Yes. I mean, as you can see, I have my desk at this giant warehouse, this open air warehouse to accommodate you and all of the other supernatural creatures who escaped from the underworld. Yes. Yes, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Now, the reason why I called you into my, well, into my open air office in this giant warehouse is because of what happened yesterday with your latest client. Yes. Yes. Yes, Dr. Roberts. Yes. Well, okay, why don't you tell me your side of the story? Please. I'm listening.
looks human, except for the four extra pairs of eyes, but, I mean, that's neither here nor there. Your webs, they're very strong, and your silk, when you have them wrapped around clients, is so comforting and soothing, they fall asleep immediately. Now, that's definitely what we want here at the Supernatural Sleep Institute. And, by the way, we'll probably end up having to change that name since SSI already stands for something else. But yes, I mean you and all of the other creatures who escaped from the underworld. It's rather surprising how comfortable all of you are and how well you can induce sleep in people. Yes. Yes, especially men. Yes, I was a little surprised that all of you chose to hire me as your agent. Yes. Oh, I see. I was the first person you met who did not suggest something sleazier. Well, yes, I'm not in the habit of opening up brothels, even for supernatural creatures such as yourself. Yes. Well, yes. Well, please keep in mind one thing. Earth is very different than the underworld. I mean, down there, you could find some poor pathetic loser. Grab him, threaten him, and after a while, slowly be nice to him until a great deal of loyalty has been built up and then you have an excellent protector up here. Yeah, you're gonna need bodyguards up here and that requires money. That's why the Institute caters to the absolute wealthy. Well, yes, I know there are some humans who helped you and the others escape and I mean, if you want to wrap your silk around them and give them comfort and sleep, that's up to you. But the name of the game is money. Now, regarding Dr. Roberts. Yes, he was absolutely out of line. Yes. Thankfully, you handled the situation very well. I realize you could have broken him in half. I realize you could have wrapped him up completely until he suffocated and then drained him of every fluid ounce of blood and made a nice meal out of him. I'm glad you didn't. And Dr. Roberts realizes that he was horribly out of line. Yes, he asked me to apologize to you on his behalf. Yes, well, no, 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 no. I'm not forcing you to go back to him. No, no. However, Dr. Roberts would appreciate it if you would consider taking him back as a client. Yes. Well, apparently he suffers from horrendous insomnia. Yes. Well, no, you don't have to take him back if you feel uncomfortable. I would never ask you or any of the others to do anything they felt uncomfortable with. But Dr. Roberts, 
Yes, he does apologize for the insult. And he would appreciate it if you would consider taking him back as a client. Yes. Yes. Like I said, he's not pressing any charges. Even though you did grab him by the throat, he realizes he was out of line. Yes. Yes. Well, I'm glad we were able to resolve that issue. Now, there was something else you wanted to talk to me about. Oh, yes. Yes. Well, here's the thing. It's very difficult coming up for uh, clothing for you and the others. I mean, please try to understand. Clothing is made for human women. We do have some designers working on clothing for you and the others. Well, yes, I understand in the underworld, you and the others could move about freely, completely naked, and that was fine. But up here on Earth, you need to wear clothing. Well, because of your fur, you get to get away with more than the others do. Yes, yes, we are working on comfortable clothing. I realize that the cloth wrapping is not 100% ideal, but we're working on it. Please bear with me. Yes, I appreciate that. Yes. Now, I do have a new client for you, suffers from horrendous insomnia. Yes. Now, you did mention that you wouldn't mind using your silk on women, but that it's usually most effective on men. Do you, well, are you still comfortable with female clients? Yes. Oh yes, once again, nothing sleazy, just sleep. Yes. Well, let's be honest, all of your clients have sleep fantasies involving you. The most important thing to keep in mind is that they are sleep fantasies. Good. Yes. Yes. She'll show up outside of your cave tonight. Yes. Thank you for understanding. Yes. Have a good one. Carol. Yeah. Please send in the Lamia. Thank you. <laughs>